is sad. I keep seeing a lot of women say that a man can't take her on a to have coffee. Like, you know, she's not accepting a coffee date. Why wouldn't you want to go on a coffee date? What's wrong with going and having coffee or tea and co- Nothing. conversation? That's how you get to know people. Why does a man have to spend hundreds of dollars to get to know you? They don't even know you. They don't even know if they like you. And most of the women who are complaining, y'all ain't even cute. Now I'm just being <laughs> honest. Like, you ain't even cute. You all, you're okay. Pipe down. You get, you put out whatever you want to receive. And y'all are just stingy and selfish. And that's why you don't have a man. You're mean. You know what's sad. Amen, sis. Amen to that. And even if she was a 10, she still don't deserve that. In my opinion, I don't think women deserve coffee dates. I don't think a man should spend one red cent on a woman that doesn't deserve it. Because she's not going to respect it anyway. And she's just going to expect it all the time. When you start out a relationship with a woman and you're trying to impress her and you're spending all this money, she's going to expect you to do that all the time. She doesn't deserve it. She doesn't respect it. She didn't, you know, put her blood, sweat, and tears in to get it. But she expects you to spend it on her. I think men are simping when they do that. They're sending out the wrong message. They're sending out the desperate message. Because I'm going to tell you, a man that lives a life of abundance and has options, he's definitely not doing that. The men that don't, they do that all the time. They beg, they plead, they try to impress these women, buying them flowers, doing all this crazy stuff, and the women don't respect it at all. You see, if you really care about somebody, you really want to know somebody and get to know them, money has nothing to do with that. Because somebody could have a lot of money, somebody could be rich, and they could still be a creep. They could still be a bad person. They could still be a serial killer, etc., etc., etc. Money does not equate to somebody's character or who they are. Because you could take somebody that's flat broke, that lives in a cardboard box on the on the um corner, that has more morals than somebody that has ten million dollars in a bank account. So it's more about character. But when you run across these women that say uh, a coffee date is not acceptable, McDonald's is not acceptable. A walk is not acceptable. That tells you a lot about their character and who they are as a person. And quite frankly, the smart men look at that and say, hell no, this is not somebody I want to start a family with. These ain't the morals that I want my kids to learn. You know, I don't want to be seen with her. I didn't work my whole life to get where I'm at. I'm not going to let some woman come in and taint that with her bad character and her bad morals. But you see, women run around with this narrative because they constantly listen to other women and they listen to other women that lie to them and tell them that's how they got their man, their prince charming, and that it works, And but it actually doesn't. And another thing that they do is they equate having sex with the man as a commitment, as some type of relationship, and it's not. Just because you can get with the man and have sex with him, that doesn't mean that he wants to commit to you That doesn't mean that he wants to spend more time with you. It doesn't mean that he wants to get to know you. It doesn't mean he wants to try try to take care of your children or help you in life. That has nothing to do with it. Your character, your integrity, who you are as a person, that is what makes men want to commit to you, not sex. So when you sit there and put it out there as a woman that, Oh, a coffee date is unacceptable. Well, that's a huge red flag to men. And a lot of men will just say, you know what? Yeah, let's go to coffee. And then as soon as the man gets what he wants, he's out. There's no second date. There's a lot of men that have that mindset that are like, well, I hit it once. I don't need it no more. I'm done. Mission accomplished. And then you have a lot of women left like, why did this happen? I thought we were vibing. The chemistry was great. Because if you want to play games and you want to try to fool men and you want to try to use men, understand that there's some men out there that know the game better than you, that can play the game better than you, and that men don't attach feelings to to sex, but they know that you do. And they know that that's a great way to manipulate you. 
So keep playing these games if you want to. Keep listening to these women saying, oh, girl, now don't accept no coffee date. Don't accept no Olive Garden. Do I look like an Olive Garden type of woman, this and that? Keep playing this game. And you're just going to be left alone because somebody that actually really cares about you and really wants to get to know you in that way is not going to equate money to you in that way. And they're not going to equate sex to you in that way. So I'm speaking on both sides of the table here. So you have to understand that what you start out with, what you lead out with is the perception that people are going to have of you. If you present yourself as a respectable, honorable person that has a great character, great morality, then that's what you're going to get back. But if you play games and you think that men are stupid and you keep saying, I don't want this and I'm not going to accept that, you're going to get played. And women like this are going to uh, win. Because I'm going to tell you one more thing. Smart men will date down even in the beauty range, beauty scale, for a woman that has this type of attitude. She could be a four or a five or a damn three. But her integrity and her morals are highly surpass the woman that's an eight, nine, and a ten. That is what matters to men. Not your sexuality, not the skin you're showing, not this, I'm strong, I'm a strong woman, and all of this stuff. Men don't care about that. Not for no long-term commitment. So like I always say, get in when you fit in and stop trying to be what you're not. If you want people um, that are genuine in your life, you want a genuine relationship, you have to be genuine yourself. And I think that people know deep down man and or woman deep down that money comes money goes you can't take money with you but women are highly influenced by other women and see women like this get thrown on the bus women like this get called pick me's well you're damn right because men most men will pick that over your badass behavior all day you have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.